everybody. Today we're making pumpkin deviled eggs. But the only thing pumpkin about these deviled eggs is how they're going to look. So you can use these in October, November, actually whenever you want. But this recipe is one of my all-time favorites. It's actually from my cookbook. So it's a mainstay in our kitchen all the time because I love deviled eggs. Who doesn't, right? Uh, but I don't love how incredibly rich all of them are for you. So I'm all about quantity and quality. <laughs> and with the Busy Girl deviled eggs, you can absolutely eat a little bit more of them because they're a little bit lighter. So I'm going to show you how we lighten them up. We use half of the yolks. We use way less mayonnaise. So let's get started. So I'm just going to do this recipe with six eggs. If you want to do the full dozen, just make sure that you multiply this times two. So boil your eggs until they're all done, obviously. And then what I'm going to have you do is just use three of the yolks. So traditional recipes use the entire yolk in your deviled egg. For this one, we're just going to use half of the yolk. So save three of your yolks. I have six egg whites here cut in half. And from here, what I'm going to do is use our base is going to be three tablespoons of fat free Greek yogurt. I love Faye 0% Greek yogurt. It's nice and thick enrich and it gives a great consistency for the deviled egg and next we have one tablespoon of low-fat mayonnaise so compared to your traditional recipes that is really really low and next we have one tablespoon of Dijon mustard so if you have a favorite go ahead and put in whatever that is and our one quarter teaspoon of onion powder just pour that right in there our one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And we have one packet of stevia or truvia, just something, a natural sweetener. If you don't have that, just use about a teaspoon of regular sugar in there. And that's great too. So from here, we're just gonna mix this really, really well. So I like to use a fork for this particular, um, to, to really mash the yolk and make it really nice and creamy because this is going to go and be the base or shall I say your pumpkin, in that deviled egg. So mix that really well. Making pumpkins from eggs, pumpkins from eggs. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so you just keep on mixing that until you get a really nice smooth consistency. And from here, take your half of your egg white and we're just gonna fill that try to make it look cute if possible this is the hard part for me like I can I can throw some stuff together but making stuff look cute that's that's an entirely different process so let's just fill a couple so that I can show you here so take your spoon and just really try to get it right in the center there because we want these to look like little mini pumpkins inside. And I'll show you where the orange color comes from in just a second. So put that on your plate and we're gonna use paprika. That's the secret weapon here in these pumpkin, um, in these little pumpkin deviled eggs. So try to pour it only on your pumpkin portion. And from there we have some chives. So cut those off because that's going to be the stem of your pumpkin. And we'll put those right in the top. And right in the top. I'm going to do two so it looks a little thicker. There we go. So you can make these a little bit more red if you want. In fact, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more. And these are your pumpkin deviled eggs. So you can add more paprika just to make them a little bit more orange. And they're just fun, they're so cute. I'm telling you guys, these are some of my favorite, favorite things to have at football parties. They're incredibly amazing. So we have to try it, it's what it's all about. Hmm. Whoa, never gets old. Just saying, you gotta try this right away. All right guys. Have fun, enjoy these, post your pictures. I love hearing from you, bye-bye.